Uh, let's try this one here. No sound. Good afternoon. I went to listen to Dr. K's talk today and I do not have sound but do for other things on the internet. So I'm assuming it's a web meeting of some sort. Okay, let's open up Teams. This is Teams app that is installed on the computer. It's different for the web version. So Teams app and uh, if you want to check your audio settings, select the three dots right next to your login uh, login initials or login uh, profile. Select three dots, select settings, select devices, and make sure that your headset or whatever it is that you're using is selected in here. In this case, we have a Plantronics headset that is connected. Make sure that speakers and microphone are selected as such, so that way you know it's you know, set up correctly. That means it's connected properly. Otherwise, if it's still not working, then your headset is bad. Now, it's different on online version. It's quite different, actually. So, let's go back to online. Online version of Teams. And uh, once it loads, if you notice, if I click on the three dots up here and go to settings. Oh, sorry, I have to sign in again. I just signed in. You saw me. <laughs> uh, every time you change password, it has to. It, it does this. Come on. I don't feel like setting this up. So, in a business environment, you wouldn't necessarily. Oh, it's confused. You, you wouldn't necessarily have this issue because it would be set up with uh, one sign, which basically, in a as long as you're connected to the network itself, it won't bug you with this. Oh, look at that. I broke it because I have calendar open with the new password okay all right let's try it again so the reason i had I, that this is happening is because what i had open was outlook with the new password open already so it's holding on to that session now i've closed outlook and now it's just it should let me well here we go i broke it that's okay see how it says here session id and remember remember we uh we had this issue with the first ticket where you get this error right and this is because it's holding on to the session id which is the cached cached version of that okay so we can fix it. it it could just be fixed by closing chrome here and opening it up but it, we might have to go in and delete that cached version so let's go to office.com i'm glad that actually happened okay let me log in even though i'm pretty sure did i change the password on the web version, I may have updated or not. Anyways, again, it's that session ID that I was telling you about. Let's go to Teams. Let's see if that fixed it. Try again. Come on, sign in. Okay, Le okay, perfect, perfect. I'm glad this happened. All right, let's go back to, let me just make sure I close this website here. So that way it's not holding on to that session. So right now, let me open up a new tab, okay making sure that the website is still not open right make sure that that website is closed completely settings all right this in this case i'm just going to manually look for it instead of searching for it so it's privacy and security all right clear browsing data this is where you could do that thing that we showed you earlier here's third party cookies scroll down see all site data and permissions here is office.com and here's microsoft.com Let's go ahead and delete. Actually, here's MicrosoftOnline.com. So any of these could be used for that. Well, actually, it's this one, Office.com, OutlookOffice.com. So if you want to be more specific, here's Teams one, Microsoft Online. I'm going to leave this Microsoft Online for now, but let's go ahead and delete these first two because first one is Teams and the other one is Outlook. So let's go ahead and delete these. Deletage. I'm going to leave this one here. Okay, let's try this again. Office.com. It's funny how that happened. I'm glad it happened so that way we can see what is happening. So I have to re authenticate. So we are re authenticating and creating our new session, which will generate our new session ID I'm using a two factor confirmation on my phone with the authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator. I typed in that code. All right. Skip. Okay, we're logged in now to this. Let's see if Teams works now. 
Okay, come on, come on. And there it is. Come on, just one more step. I'm not going to put in a phone number for every fictional person that I'm working with. <laughs> All right. Almost there. Well, it keeps asking for that. It really wants me to put in my phone number in there. Come on. There it is. So we've fixed it. And that's a perfect example of how it can break and how it holds on to those broken sessions. Okay. I'm going to turn on notifications, allow notifications for this. Uh, create team schedule. I don't have time for this. So here we are in Teams. Again, so let's select three dots here select settings and remember in the app version that is installed on your computer it's completely different let me go back to this settings here you can see that we do have devices on the locally installed teams we have devices option but on the web version on the web version we do not we do not have an option to change these settings for the devices there it's not there so how do you go about fixing it well the easiest way to actually go about it is whenever you go to teams and you know i mean there are other three dots here right what is that well that this doesn't help us help us at all it's not related but if you start a session right here where it says you know start the new meeting it's going to ask you do you want to use your microphone fine that's select allow and here it is this is where you would actually change your settings and make sure that your plantronics in this case is set up correctly and then you can select open devices and it's just a, a thing that comes up on the side so it's like a sort of like a, a column that pops up on the side and it tells you that oh yeah indeed it's selecting the correct headphones so this is great if it's something else then make sure that you select whatever the user or wherever a customer wants so this is good if i join now it's going to work fine as long as the headset is not broken itself. All right. So that worked out perfectly. Now let's go back to our ticket and reply when you and and let me just let me just kind of point this out real quick. It says here I do not have the sound but for other things on the internet. Okay, it says I went to listen to Dr. Dr. K's talk today and I do not have sound, but do, but I do for other things on the internet. So in this case, we know that it's very specific to the meeting or whatever is that the app that they're using to listen to Dr. K, right? So it's that app specifically. It's not a sound issue on like locally. There's no need for us to go well, you can, but there's really no need no need for us to go to the sound settings on the computer itself because the sound works for other things, okay? So it's specific to the app that is used to listen to Dr. K. Okay. Make sure to check the sound settings specifically for the... I'm going to assume, I'm, I'm going to say the app used to listen to Dr. K's talk. I.e. Teams or Zoom and etc. Whatever it is that you're using to listen to this meeting and by the way in zoom will be very similar you basically are looking for the same stuff whether it's zoom or or i don't know google meets or whatever i don't know whatever people use nowadays as well just make sure you look for sound settings in the app that is used in this in, in that specific situation 